Hello again and welcome back. Take a look at this tyre. I'm sure many of you will have experienced this. I know I have. I don't mean the tyre having completely come off the rim, obviously. Today I'm going to demonstrate a portable solution to punctures. Biker, stuffs, motorcycle, channel. This is a tubeless tyre puncture repair kit. Let's see what you get inside. You get the colour instructions and the waterproof basic instructions. I think this laminated guide is brilliant being covered in plastic. As for the tools, you get the rasp, the plugger and its nozzle, the spiky probe, the hex key, a blade and a bag of plugs. You will also need a pair of pliers which isn't included but we all have a pair of those in our tool bag. Let me go through the process which I will demonstrate on this tyre. I thought that by doing it on a loose tyre I could show you what is happening inside as I'm doing the repair. First job, get whatever is causing the puncture out, if it isn't already out. Next, push the probe into the hole to make sure it's all out. This will move any wire strands of the tyre out of the way, ready for the next step. Take the rasp and vigorously clean the hole to open it up so that the plugger nozzle will fit. Unscrew the piston inside the plugger to the end of the plugger like this. Take a mushroom out of the sealed bag which should be lightly lubricated Push it down the bore of the plugger, stem first. Then using the tip of the nozzle, push it into the bore. Let me just jump in and ask, if you like this video so far and think it needs a like, please click on the thumbs up. And when you are there, what about subscribing so that you don't miss any future videos from me?
take the nozzle and screw it onto the probe. Push this into the hole. Then unscrew the probe, leaving the nozzle fully in higher. Screw the plugger into the nozzle. And turn the hex key clockwise until it bottoms out. Unscrew the plunger back to where it started. Then firmly pull the plugger out. Using your pliers, hold the end of the mushroom and stretch it to about 5 centimetres to ensure it is fully seated. If this was for real and the tyre was on your bike, you would now pump the tyre to your recommended pressure and then with the blade cut the stem off but not while pulling on it. All done. You used to be able to buy these kits with CO2 bottles to pump your tyres up, but they aren't that easy to use. You needed at least four bottles to get a back tyre full enough to ride on, which is all you get in the kit. You then need a garage or service station to get the tyre back to the correct riding pressure. But I believe these aren't available anymore. If they are, my recommendation is to buy the kits I have here and to get yourself a mini 12 volt pump, then you are completely self-sufficient. Thanks for watching. You know you liked it, so tell your friends. Don't forget to give me your thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell to get notifications when there is more from Biker Stuff.